Good evening, this is my trade review for today, which is Tuesday, the 13th of June 2023. So, today I'm watching SPY and ES, and I mainly trade the MES version of the ES contracts. And I had a couple of levels from my from my um, pre-market prep and one of my levels which I put in late it was added on about a quarter of an hour before the market opened and that was 4400 on the ES and the reason for that is because I I didn't mention it in my video earlier because I wasn't really looking at that area but it's this area here I was watching for and I thought it might make a great area of um, support if the market comes back down we had the CPI numbers at 8.30 today and one of my areas I was watching this zone here it touched and come back out and then it went off all bullish so it looked quite bullish for the day so I wasn't really looking for anything around here I was looking for a break and retest really so at, when the market kicked off at 9.30 I sat there watching and what I was watching was a bit of an uptrend so when it came up came back down oh, hang on. start again so I saw the market take out take out the pre-market high and I was expecting it to come back here and I thought if it did I would have taken a trade which wasn't in my trade plan and it did come back down to here and I saw these two green bars and I thought that would have been a great entry and unfortunately the next bar was this big red candle and it took me out and my stop was below here so it eventually took me out just there that's fine it was a very small position and it wasn't in my plan so probably deserved it but what I was really watching was for the 4400 level which is this line here and so I waited for the market, it pulled down. I was watching it on the five minute chart, so I'll show you the five minute what I saw. And what I saw on the five minute chart. Was these lovely two bottom tails. And high volume as well. So we had this high volume coming in here. And that's the average volume. I generally try to ignore the first half an hour of the day on the volume because it's always high volume anyway but from about 10 onwards the volume settles down and as the market was pulling back volume was increasing so we had this, this increase of volume and then and then that showed that there was more buying pressure and the tail and obviously the candles are is a looks like a reversal candle and then the second candle was the one which really got my attention and it's again on higher than average volume as well still quite high volume from the open and so as I was watching that candle I got in exactly 4400 that area there and this is when I was flicking between the 5 minute and the 2 minute chart so, where were we so back over here so on the 2 minute you can see then increased volume which is above the average and it was this candle here which had extra buying volume and it was this one here so I took 4400 because um, because I saw the two bottom tails on the five minute chart as well I, I would normally layer into the position but I didn't this time I just took in fact I took two lots of two so I took I took two there and I think it was two there so my average was 4,400. And one, one of my goals for today and one of my goals for this week was to add on winning trades and not add on my losing trades. So many times I'll be, I'll be, I'll be in a losing position and I'm trying to add, just trying to bring my average price down for that little bit of a reversal. And it's hard work and stressful, but also it rarely works. And so for now on, I really want to only add on winning positions. So I was in at this location, I was watching it pull out, it broke over the VWAP and it pulled back a bit. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to get a, 
a break and retest of this area. So I waited, so I was in a good winning position now, and it was this candle came back down, and and as this green candle rejected all the moving averages and the and at 50, I took an add just there, and so then I cut I cut the add here. And so that was a bit of a bonus trade, really. So I took an ad, only one contract. I had four contracts from here. So I'm still in my full position. It came back down again, and I added again just there. Um, still watching this area. And then I rode it up. I cut a position there, which I used as the bodies of these candles. There, that was my first out. And I took just below the high of the day there not a very good straight line I know so that was my next out and I had two contracts left at that point and what I wanted to do is leave them as runners unfortunately um, I saw these three red bars in a row and I panicked and I sold off both my contracts and then had instant regrets because you know really I should have been looking for another ad around here so what I did is I got back in almost immediately after I sold off with one contract so I only sold one contract and that was a panic sell um, it, it didn't really matter because ultimately it stopped me out anyway but the point is that's what I'm, I'm trying to cut out my panic selling and I just wanted to ride up the 50 and ride the VWAP so I so what I did I had one contract left and I moved my stop which was here at break even at that point my original stop was there I moved my stop to there and my next stop I moved to the that below below that pivot because I was expecting a trend day up because we'd already broken a high of the day and we pulled back about well, let's see what the fib say. Yeah, not quite 50 percent but um yeah maybe had i had my fibs on i could have put this as my my stop loss area here the 618 and that could be another ad but i'd add that to my journal but i stopped out and i ended the day in good positive position the ad made a big difference because that ad actually um, covered the cost of one of my stop outs which I will explain now so I had a, st I had a stop the market opened yeah I that one there so that stop there I made the same amount of money on that stop than what I did on that on that ad there so it was quite a nice so that basically they they, they cancelled each other out and I think I think going moving forward, making sure I have an ad in my winning trades, especially if it's on a trend day like it was yesterday, is going to be a good thing moving forward because I want to keep adding then at every wave until the ad stops. So today, if I could improve on this trade, I would have taken my I would have taken the entry there. My first ad could have been on that first pullback, second pullback. And then the third pullback, so that's the three waves, and profit on each of the pivots. Easy on hindsight. And then I want to not raise my stops to break even too quickly as well. And maybe just keep my original stop for an end of day finish up here. So that's what I'm going to journal about, and hopefully that will help me improve. Hopefully you also had a good trading day. Sorry for my ramblings on. And I hope um, this trade review you find helpful. Um, I'm finding them very helpful because I can refer back to this. I'll, I'll watch this again tomorrow. And I can, it'll help me then get my mind in a good position for when the market opens. And it'll help me avoid the pitfalls of today. For example, when I panic sold, which I panic sold yesterday as well. So that's something I need to stop doing. Anyway, that's my trade review. Hopefully you had a good day and I will speak to you soon. Thank you. Good night.